In soldering, you're supposed to make a mechanically secure connection. We have this device that you know, it failed. It's supposed to uh, protect against uh, brownouts and damaging stuff. This was protecting an air conditioner. Uh, let's do some close-ups on it and we'll show you what's going on. As you can see from the label, it's rated at 220 volts, uh, 20 amps frequency, 50 to 60 hertz. It was protecting an air conditioner. It's rated about 7 amps. So this should have uh, had no problems. The product's pretty simple. It's a circuit breaker and then it's a circuit that when the voltage is too low or too high, it shuts off the power and it waits five minutes and it checks again and if the power is back to normal level, it will restore operation. Uh, so this one malfunctioned and that, this is what we're talking about today. I will say, usual disclaimer, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. You can cause fire, death, electrocution, all that good stuff. Okay, so uh, let's look and see what went wrong. On this side, we can see the line in, uh, which is the hot, the uh, line out. So this is, this is the uh, power in and this is the controlled out. So when there's a brown out, this is what's turned off, is that L out. There's your neutral and your ground. Okay, so let's look and see uh, the failure that was caused by soldering. When you solder, you're always told to make a mechanically secure connection. Now you can see these are not. They're just poked up through there. This may have been wave soldered. I don't know. I can't tell. Let's get our extreme close-up. I don't know if you can see, especially on that second pin, uh, right in the middle of the screen right now, you can see that around the pin it looks gray and it doesn't, it's not shiny, it's not reflecting the light. The solder appears to have oxidized pretty badly in that, in that place. And my guess is that these pins went right down the center of the holes and the solder was the only thing connecting the pin to the copper tracing and whereas lead is a, is a good conductor, it's not a great conductor. So a copper to copper connection would have been much better and I'm guessing again that what happened is the lead heated up and began to oxidize and finally either melted or just totally oxidized away and so it uh, quit working but I found it in this condition where it literally this connector just came out it was this way I didn't desolder this this is exactly the way it came out of the box so uh, if you're going to do soldering and the advice is make a good secure mechanical connection first this is one of the reasons you do it okay well that was it for today hope you found it useful and interesting in your home electronics projects